Well, welcome to York Electric Cooperative's 81st annual meeting. We're tickled to have you watching, where here at York Electric, we try to serve every member every time. We're happy to have you joining us virtually as well, online this evening. Uh, at this time, I want to ask the Reverend William Bowie, serving the First Calvary Baptist Church in Rock Hill, who will come forward to offer our invocation. Reverend Bowie. Good afternoon. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Let us pray. God, we thank you so much for your grace so sufficient as evidence by our presence. We thank you for your mercy. We pray now that your spirit's presence would bless us as we go into annual business meeting for the year 2022 of our year of our Lord and Savior. Bless our time together. This is your servant's prayer. Receive now, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, Reverend Bowie. Well, we're going to ask uh, York Electric employee Steve Clinton to come forward and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Steve? Thank you. Let's stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Steve. Now, if you will, please give your attention to York Electric Board Chairman Tom Settlemeyer. Thank you, Lou. I'd like to officially call the 2022 annual meeting of York Electric Cooperative to order. YEC has certified proof of 57,792 cover-wrapped magazines were mailed to invite us membership to the 2022 annual meeting. The total number of registered members for the 2022 annual meeting has been recorded as 3,464. The required quorum to host the meeting is 2,921, which has been met with the number of members present. We also have an action item to approve, that being the 2021 annual meeting minutes. Are there any objections to approving the minutes? Hearing none, the 2021 annual meeting minutes are approved as presented. Now YEC's President and Chief Executive Officer Paul Basha will provide a report on your electric cooperative. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Suttlemeyer. I would like to thank everyone who came out to this year's second drive through annual meeting, celebrating 81 years of serving you. Most of all, though, I would like to thank our Lord for another year without a major injury or large-scale outage. I would also like to thank our Board of Trustees. Thank you for your dedication and how you serve the membership. And thank you who continue to participate in Operation Roundup. The Trust Board has allocated $3.4 million back to our community since inception. You know, for years, we have kept increases on electric rates reasonable. Actually, for the last 11 years, our rates have either neither gone up or maybe sometimes had a slight decrease. This year, we continue that trend with no increase. And the good news, we do not expect any rate increase for the next two years. You may have received in your mailbox recently this year's capital credit rebate. It is the largest ever in the history of the co-op. Our Board of Trustees voted to return $2.5 million to the members through capital credits, showing the financial health of your cooperative. I'd also like to brag on our employees. YEC recently got one of the highest published scores of the American Customer Satisfaction Index. You know, consistency in providing excellent service to you is a good thing. The last five surveys have ranked YEC in the top tier of over 700 companies like Ruth Chris, Chick-fil-A, and Southwest Airlines. We received a very, very good score of 94. The average co-op got a score of 73. We're working 
for you to continue planning a brighter future for you and our communities. We are working to shape our future by incorporating new innovative technology. This includes upgrades to 11 substations with equipment that helps us locate and restore power more quickly during outages. We're researching, developing, and implementing special rates and services for electric vehicles. We're providing in-home smart devices such as smart thermostats that help our members monitor energy use and save money. We also having, note having reliable power is important. That's why we're proud to invest in two new 100 kV transmission lines that will serve two of YEC substations, Flint Hill near Carowinds and our Indy Hook substation in Rock Hill. Lastly, let me update you on our rural internet project. Since last year, we've worked to provide access to high-speed internet to 1,500 members who did not have service a year ago. Construction continues, though, which will provide access to the remaining unserved members in the next 14 months. So in summary, rates are down, rebate checks are large, rural internet is being installed, and electric service reliability is excellent. Your cooperative is in great shape. Now I'd like to introduce York Electric's attorney, John Tinkin, to continue the business meeting and announce the election results. John? Thank you, Paul. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, is there any first any old business to come before uh, this meeting today? Any new business to come before the meeting today? All right, hearing none, uh, we'll move on to report the election results and I'll go through one individually. Uh, the first would be the election results for the uncontested elections in District 1 and District 2. Mr. Will Mitchell and Mr. Marion Comer ran unopposed and have been re-elected. Uh, congratulations to you both. Um, in District 3 there uh, was a contested election. Incumbent Richard Sadler's seat was uh, contested by Mr. Thomas Lee McClellan. Mr. Sadler received 1,753 votes, and Mr. McClellan received 1,117 votes. Uh, I want to congratulate Mr. Sadler. These total votes uh, have been uh, tabulated and certified by our Credentials and Elections Committee, and they do an outstanding job for York, and we do appreciate the work that they have done uh, this day and uh, yesterday. And without further objection, um, is there a motion on the floor to adjourn this meeting and move on with the rest of the program? Hearing a motion and a second, um, we'll move on to the, uh, the balance of the program. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Mr. Tinkin. Uh, and thank you for joining us for the business session. Now we come to that part of the meeting where we're going to give away prizes as uh, all of you no, um, uh, that's one of a tradition here at York Electric Cooperative, so thanks for staying with us for that. Um, we're going to start with the grand prizes, uh, the door prizes and the grand prizes, and YEC's purchasing agent, Benjamin Hall, is going to help us, and his sons, Easton, Bennett, and Hampton, will spin the roll, will help spin the roll cage, they'll help draw the winners, uh, and we'll move along with those. So, you don't have to be present to win. So every name that we draw is a winner. So come on up and help us get started here. You'll see we've got a big roll cage here, and we've put in all of the um, uh, tickets for those who registered for the meeting. They'll uh, spin the, spin the uh, roll cage every now and then and uh, draw a new ticket, and we'll call a name, and you'll be the winner. Oh, and how do we get the, win the prizes to the winners? We're going to get it to them, right, one way or the other. So we, we've got you covered. All right, let's start with an air purifier. Go ahead and roll it one time and then draw and... Okay. Reach in there and get one. Everybody got one. Now, the first prize is an air purifier brought to us by 
CSR, Material Supply Cooperative, we call the name or number here. I'm going to call the name Dewey D. Ham on Cedar Grove Road. Dewey D. Ham. Congratulations. I'll number them for us, make it a little easier. And there you go. Got a ticket here for a $100 Visa gift card given by CS, and that goes to Brian Thomas on Helton Lane. Brian Thomas. And how about you? There we go. Thank you, sir. This is a $50 Visa card from Cooper Power Systems Southeast, and the winner of that is Billy Wayne Williams III. Billy Wayne Williams III. Okay, ready? Now we've got a $50 Sabre gift card. And that goes to Deidre A. Uh, looks like Hillian. Deidre A. Hillian on Gregory John Court. Next, we've got a $100. Lowe's gift card brought to us by Border States in Chile. And that goes to Richard Burnell. Oh, Burnett, excuse me. Richard Burnett on Covey Court. Thank you, sir. Here's a $100 Lowe's gift card from Border, uh, Border States and Chile. Did I just give that away? I think I did. Yes, I did. How about a $50 Roasting Company gift card? And that goes to George and Cheryl Urbaniak. George and Cheryl Urbaniak. And one more. Oh, we're ready to roll it again. Thank you, sir. Here's a $50 Captain Steve's gift card for... Richard Joy, Richard Joy. Thank you. A cooler gift set from Comporium goes to Joseph and Kathleen Godin. Joseph and Kathleen Godin. You got one more back there? Thank you, sir. Here's a still. Uh, a steel gas blower from Turner Communications. Cheryl Hill is the winner of that. Cheryl Hill. Okay. <laughs> Here's a $50 Outback gift card. And that goes to Gene and Diane Kennedy. Gene and Diane Kennedy. A $50 Outback gift card again goes to uh, Bennett Michael or Michael Bennett. Michael and Farella Bennett. There we go. Thank you, sir. Very good. Number 12 is a $50 Longhorn gift card. Goes to Mary C. Wallace. Mary C. Wallace. Ready? Thank you, sir. Here's uh, number 13, a $50 Longhorn gift card as well. And that one goes to Paul Donald Stewart, Jr. Paul Donald Stewart. Here's a cordless vacuum valued at $130. And that goes to Linda C. Wendell. Linda C. Wendell. Next, we have an Amazon Fire tablet, $120 tablet. And that goes to Dale Mitchell. Dale Mitchell. This is a tower fan valued at $75, and the tower fan goes to Cheryl K. McConnell. Cheryl K. McConnell. 
a solar-powered Bluetooth speaker, valued at $130. It goes to Jimmy A. Russell. Jimmy A. Russell. Thank you, sir. Here's an electric blower and a trimmer, a trimmer combo, $150 value. And it goes to Daryl uh, Pierzynski. Daryl Pierzynski. Ready for another one? Next, we have an egg glue cooler with wheels. Thank you. And the winner of the egg glue cooler is Jacqueline D. Mosley. Jacqueline D. Mosley. Thank you. And number 20 is an air fryer valued at $120. And the air fryer goes to Ann and Brian Cope. Ann and Brian Cope. And now we're drawing for the grand prizes. Oh, we're going to put all the tickets back in. And I did number them on the tickets here. All back in. And we're going to spin it and make it mix up real well so everybody who's won has a chance to win the grand prize, and the first grand prize is a $500 power bill credit. And the winner of the first $500 power bill credit is James R. Zegert. James R. Zegert. And the second $500 power bill credit goes to J. Matlock, Julie Matlock of Fort Mill. $500 number two. And the truck. Now you've seen the truck, but we'll show you. I think we can show you a picture of the truck. Good looking and washed up and polished and all ready to go. If your name is William R. Egan, of Charming Pond Drive, William R. Egan. So if you know William, you'll have to go see him and uh, get a ride in the new truck. Okay, it's not new at all, but it's a great pickup truck. <laughs> okay, if you want to, if you want a prize today, you'll get a phone call uh, next week, early next week, probably on Monday, to remind you of what you won and how you should schedule to pick up your prize or how we'll get the prize to you. All three of the grand prize winners will receive phone calls on Monday to discuss your winnings, uh, and they'll probably want you to have a driver's license to win the truck. Great. Well, thanks for joining us for your annual meeting this year. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll look forward to seeing you um, driving through maybe next year. Have a good evening.